Remember to breathe. Standardized language limits the evolution of thought. Having a right idea of how things should or ought to be induces an ink clash of standards. Please allow me to vacate with obtuse convention as to show you something new you've never seen and always experience. Both mental and physical depends on us equivalently as we depend on it. Words comprise literal existence and we define our process through spontaneous communication. As we influence our minds with words, we shape our bodies to action. Whether I offer solution or certainty depends on your belief. I trust you as universal participant to continue contribution to the creation of ourself, won by our universal energy. Enjoy. Why? If. Please remember to breathe. Nothing may happen while we are here in this place. Free will is an illusion. Our will acts vividly in our current predicament. How could this be free if confined to one another and our immediate just stops? We act vividly when conflict intervenes. We digress to obstacular opportunity to whichever path we have been inventing. This appears perhaps to be an emergency of willing intent. If we are not in control of our will, this doesn't necessitate a precedent of external command via fatal force such as that of a god, or an absolutely self-consistent logical basis of all reality as driven by science. Please remember to breathe. Perhaps the radical tenets of both theology and science suggest certain indefinite answers fluctuate by method of observation. As told by the Bardo Soral, liberation from the cycle of searching for release from the cycle of death and rebirth comes from realizing our role in the cycle. Current creation by intellect. Science encounters a similar cycle when it attempts to prove its own theories again and deeper into the self explanation of its own theories. And here again, scientists lay down their own foundation of rules with the tool used to observe, like trying to look elsewhere with one's intellect when it is of thine own. The answer to science's question comes realizing the question predicates the answer that to embark on a given quest is to progress toward a goal dependent entirely on the form, intent, and purpose of the warrior in question. Ours are reductive, logical, and irrational soldiers. Reductive because they want a simple truth to form the base of logical because they feel everything must follow a definite cause. Irrational because they won't accept personal responsibility. For their mental and physical manifestation in pursuit of why this is so, this manifestation, they are reluctant to see any reason they come up with as simply that their reason. The error in our search for answers is determining everyone's answer must be the same and related somehow and then deciding to approach every problem pragmatically as though we'll never be able to completely agree but somehow must be members of the same universe. Causing the universe with your answers, making a final decision on what it's all about to differentiate between possible universes so allowable by a predefining system of awakening the perpetual perceptual occurrence of the event, exploring everything within the limits of its extent. 
All real possibility eventually actualized In matters of thought at least in the world at most We're universes apart from each other or we feel that way Consider academic disputes and biopsychology Over whether suffering arises for individuals individual due to solely genes like the body acting out Or solely society by interacting beyond norms individuals are rejected or a certain mix of either Consider war between nations hating In more ways than just two We appear torn I was talking, I was talking about, about, about the logic, logic of cosmogony, cosmogony and the exercise by Buddhist and quantum mechanics and run haphazardly into the real world where common sense ought to prevail Basic human problems and matters of the world and politic Sometimes both sides forget or deny the existence of the other world or undermine its importance, if anything. Sometimes one side will just be deemed to be irreconcilably different and ultimately incommensurable with the side taking forcibly the privilege to make so absolutely final a decision of vast consequence. If so, it happens that both sides share the same space or at extreme lengths form opposite poles of which they're bound a unified whole one can but imagine progress toward the destruction of the other. What am I saying of which cold red speak that between reality and the void spirit beyond between genetic nature and social no, social, social conditioning between us and them in these supposedly unavoidable wars the solipsism is true between me and myself you in yourself with the world manifest by our dreams or its nightmares or between our Freudian selves I feel I'm trying to tell you how you resolve the fate of the president for whichever reasons perhaps you even see the solution as obvious to all who will take one look at this situation and be sensible perhaps you think I'm wrong to suggest a way through this conflict whatever it just may be or to even suggest a way of approaching our predicament This may be laughable if it's true from either side The other doesn't exist on equal footing Or is the side with the actual problem And quotes in each of those situations Progress is effectively impossible If we cannot define simply and correctly the problem There's nowhere to hide and we'll fight this out between us Unable to come to terms this side with that unavoidable, certainly, randomly, perhaps you think me an evil. If I accept both as right, I must pledge the annihilation of both, taking two wrongs. I find regret, unlike dream or reality, something not had before. What if I digress forever upon both paths? I don't know. Anyway, it don't matter to me anymore. I don't know truth from lies. Do you accept yours? Let's go between. <laughs> Uh, 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 I'll get to the get point, to the point already. Ready, ready. I, I don't, don't have much to make. make. We can never leave off on, on the same set of values and intentions in such a way as to not interfere with each other's personal plans and motives. If we can never ultimately decide on either a fatal god for us, a perfectly designed or for a logical system of absolutely high laws to have spontaneously resulted into us and created us, if we can never, for one and all find answers to who I am and what we actually are. Perhaps we approach the situation wrongly. Perhaps we may accept things to say while well acknowledging the permanence of necessity, permanence of necessity. Here we are, and this is nowhere certainly final as our things may continue to scheme for the time 
being that name. No point at all for this action, eliminating the equation. We remain by force of will, bound to one another. If what's real flows spontaneously as we move through it. These ideas are subject to change and do not apply to everything spanning the ages any less than anything does this course of action I offer uncertainties any specific course rather than hold faith in something beyond us be it a cause of unchangeable fate or unavoidable chance I trust you are real Really happening. I trust you are really happening. This takes no belief nor understanding when to accept, to bear witness, and will purpose toward carrying out our lives. As it's good and giving them away. We too are to experience. Except your status as my deities upon our earth around our light. Accept responsibility to everything. Existence by all souls. Life. Your will bound to my realm manifests in the action and motion of this beautiful world. Your decision to breathe positively affects the mutual life force of our planet. In the rhythm, let me play art with this. In the rhythm of the sky, that comes forth in and out, around and cross, I feel your breath through and for that current of life. I pray you will love your life. Please remember to breathe and let me play art with this. We are a part as we are dependent on mutual give and take, survival of the flexible, not in competition while conflict arises. Take the sheep, the little ones, and the best ones usually last. Some make it, some don't. We give it our all. It takes from us all eventually for reason you may claim. Why? If. Why? If. And let me play art with this.